What's up guys, I'm Vinzi here, I'm back with a video. Today I'm in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as the Republic of Turkey, or Turkey, or Turkey A, um, doesn't matter how you say it, but this country right here, located in Europe, but also kind of in the Middle East area. Anyways, a uh, pretty cool country, and I am playing as Turkey today. Um, so kind of going kind of a little bit of a democratic route. I'm just finishing up this focus right now, real quick. But... I went down this route, and I'm gonna go reconfigure Turkish foreign policy, and most likely go down this, like the allies and stuff, um, and then I'll probably do some of these, but I won't go further down, I'll probably join the allies, because my plan is to kind of wait a little bit, and um, since the allies pretty good over here, I'll probably support the allies in Africa, uh, you know, North Africa, and then also support the allies in Europe mostly. Because I plan to join probably in 1941-ish, right after the Soviet Union is, has been invaded by Germany. And Germany's kind of pushing into the Soviet Union. Um, that's kind of when I'm going to strike. So real quick, let me just do a fo choose a focus. Because this focus. Yeah, I know. Nah, Germany doesn't give me anything. Or the Soviet Let's, we'll go down. This way is actually pretty cool. This way to get, get Greece, Bulgaria, I guess Yugoslavia, Damascus, and this is not really that good. Here's that. But I think I'm going to go there to get some Rome, Rome, Romania, Iran, um, and then then I can get maybe this anyways yeah kind of democratic it's not that far maybe the Soviet one now okay I think I'm gonna go I think I know what I'm gonna do I gotta go with this one first anyways that's a plan I'm going to kind of become or I am democratic and then I'm going to kind of invade the Balkans area and hold on to the Balkans, you know, probably get most of Bulgaria, Greece when it gets invaded, Romania, maybe kind of push, I don't know, up to this kind of river, maybe get into Yugoslavia a little bit in Albania, while also protecting my ports. I need some port guards and other stuff. But like I said, I'm not going to join until the Germany is kind of pushed a little bit, maybe like kind of here to the Soviet Union, not Moscow yet, but reach some good enough stuff so they're distracted enough everybody's distracted down here so i can attack also they can get iran to um my focus tree so that is the plan this is part one of course it'll be limited there's a few parts um just so i don't make one big long video just multiple parts so i guess i will see you when there is um something uh, new to tell you. All right, guys, so I finished that focus, and now I'm going to do, go down the Soviet path, do this one, uh, that one, I'll increase the stuff, this one, probably this one, probably this one, and then I won't... get these, I'm pretty sure, let's see, yeah, I won't get this, kind of nothing good here, yeah, and then we'll go down the German path, this one, Opinion of us. Let's see, then we'll finish this focus. Three days. And then I kind of just got to build up. It's going to be hard to kind of build up my military, but I'm going to probably get two or three full armies with my stuff. 
It's gonna be hard, democratic. But I will still do it. Let's prove relations a little bit. Good, alright. So we have a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Not that they would invade me or anything, but it's still good to have. Um... And then, like I said, after the Soviet, then we'll hit this one, this agreement. We'll use a chromium. Okay, that's pretty good. Gotta mess around with the chromium. Let's put more fat. Okay, I need to start trading up. Exactly. Good enough. I'm using a lot of my factories to build guns, but that's just now. I have to build, like I said, I built some more sieves. But that's just because I'm trying to ease the way into, guys. I'm trying to ease the way into the efficiency cap. And also, as you notice, this is not exactly an updated version. I will have the updated version. See, I probably when I finish this playthrough, I don't want to mess with the, any of the playthroughs. So... With that being said, I'm probably going to um, finish this run, you know, make my videos off this. And then, after that, I will um, go into the new mod, because I know there's some crazy cool stuff. Arms of Tyranny will be playing some... We gotta, I'm gonna play as Finland, go fascist as Finland, I'm gonna play Sweden, go democratic as Norway, I think go communist if they have a good communist path, Denmark something, and then Iceland too, because Iceland's thing. So pretty cool thing that I plan to do once I get the new thing eventually. Yeah, now we wait. And then I'll click it. And then after that, finally, I'll hit the the, the allies path. I'll join the allies, maybe. And then I'll, I might have to wait a little bit. And do stuff. So I'll be back, kind of, with the next um, update. All right, guys. So we finished as much as I want to do for the Soviet path. This is good. We get a bunch of weekly manpower, but we lose a lot of stability unfortunate but we're doing the german path now and soon we will do the british path and war just started germany just invaded poland is that war now is it i got some more divisions pumping out i also planned to um, i plan to pour these states I need 200 political power. political power is a lot, but we'll get 1.3 per day. And this state is already going to be core. When I core these guys, I'm going to get a bunch of manpower. Um, yeah, and also the stability even is a little bad. I'm going to have to fix that with improved working conditions. We got the steel, the mining stuff, and the industrial projects. Everything's going good. We're going to the aircraft now. I'm trying to make a good air thing because I'm going to have a bunch of factories and I have too many guns. So what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of just make planes because planes is the one thing that's pretty good because I tanks require manpower, planes require manpower, but not that much manpower. So, yeah. Then I'm saving my political power. Got to get to extensive prescription soon. War economy soon. I got to add some more stuff. But right now, guys, I am going to pour which state's got more manpower. This state is 500. This is 600,000. We're going to pour this state. And we should be getting in some people soon. Yeah, I think we're, we're getting some better stuff. Got like 3,000 people immediately. It's pretty good. i got to wait another long time to get my other stuff. But... That I plan to do. I'm not spending political power on any, any of this stuff. For now, at least. Um, yeah, I try to get two full armies. I'm probably going to have... One army is guarding my 
stuff, and then probably have one army guarding here, or one or half of an army guarding into the half army in North Africa, cleaning stuff up, and then I plan to have maybe a full army attack Bulgaria, and I can join the war soon. So, doing good, we need a bunch more political power, though. The states, every 65 units or more of chromium, okay. So, every state that produces more than 665 or more. So, let's look at the resources real quick. Oh, right, okay. So, that's one state, two state, three states. So, three states, so it's going to get six military factories. So, Pretty good to get just six free mills. And look at that, 28,000, so we're already, okay. So I'm gonna start making some more troops. I need five more, oh, okay, we're not gonna get. All right, we're gonna make three of them. That's pretty good. Three more to add, and then I'm gonna need eight more after that. That's the plan for troops. And then after that, I should have enough for some port guards. Probably like, I don't know how many ports there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, probably like 12 or so. But I'm going to make um, kind of cheesy port guards that aren't that good. Probably gonna use the like a new template or something. Make a port guards. Probably like twelve or so, like I said. And then that is the plan so far. Show you for more political power. I need more political power. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back with the next update. Alright guys, so we are doing pretty good. We are almost done with this focus. And then I I don't think I'm going to do this focus. I am going to do the Italian light tanks. I probably may come back to these focuses if I run out of focuses because I don't want to join the allies yet. So, this is good. Minus 5%. Consumer goods is pretty good. And now we can get light tanks. But first of all, I'm going to pour this state right now. Working on port guards as well. I'm trying to get some of them soon. I want about 12 of them. And then I, I can probably just squeeze out 12 of them and 12 of them as well as um, maybe four more divisions uh, before the before I join the war. That's what I hope. Let's see, can I get this one? I need to get a little more manpower. I think I can squeeze it out. Let's see. Hopefully I can. Let these do spawn. That's sorry, six are already about halfway there. So doing pretty good, pretty good. Forty divisions is pretty good. This is not bad. It's fine, fine, fine. All these are fine, so I don't have to worry. This guy, gonna get the manpower up. These dudes are literally almost done. They'll get uh, spawned up. Stability is a little low. It's only 40%. Hope to get a little bit higher than that. Yeah, I think we're doing 3 4 2 2. We may not. Yeah, okay. So, two divisions. We'll place them in here. We're gonna give him the best defensive general. 3 3. Choose him. Okay, he's pretty good. And then he is going to... Ooh, let's see. We need infantry experts. No, ambusher. He is going to guard the ports. We're not going to spawn him yet. I'm not going to train him because it's a waste of time. So we're... This state, i got to get 200 political power for this state. And then this other state is like really tricky. We're 31%. Um, resistance and it's barely going down and then we have compliance at 70 so that's compliance is good we just need the resistance to go down by 
like 2% or so. And then after that, I gotta do improved working conditions and stability up, um, get as many resources as possible, and also get these free sieves. Okay, resources, let's see. I'm building the forts up, just because I want to, and then I'm gonna start building a few more sieves, and then we're all for mills. All in for mills right after. Okay, looks like we'll see how the war war is going so far. Africa is okay. Uh, Africa is doing all right. In the south, pretty good. Maybe if you yeah, get this this kind of section in Somaliland, and then the main part of the Ethiopia, only make kind of a little bit of progress. So that, that's good because we're rooting for the allies. And then the North Africa probably about average. They get usually the allies get kind of hurt a little bit in the beginning, and then they get better. As the war goes on, but they already get Albania is under control. Norway is surprisingly holding on. But here's Iceland, and then the and the new focus tree they have is pretty cool. Um, and the whole new thing is pretty cool. Oh, Agent is captured. I sent him to do a Bulgarian spy network. It didn't work. It sucks gone but and then I bring you guys back soon probably um, when I get uh, I'm not gonna do this focus I'm not gonna do this focus it doesn't really matter I mean, I'm not gonna do these two focuses either just probably just this branch and we'll join the allies and all these and then the whole point is to kind of get down here we can get a claim on cyprus and the dodecanese so and then we have bulgaria is pretty good but we're not gonna do anything greece try to attack greece hopefully i mean they're probably gonna join the allies uh we don't this doesn't matter these are all cores of the gray. Not gonna mess with them, maybe, I don't know, because it's just a claim. But we gotta do this. Probably get the Turkish Empire is kind of what I hope to get. Well, kind of democratic, I don't know if it's possible, but that's what I hope to get. So I'll uh, see you guys soon. Another update here, we are doing pretty good. Um, just got another round of 200 political power. This state has got about a hundred, over a hundred thousand more than the other ones, so I'm gonna get out first. And then I only need about nine port guards, so I'm gonna make nine of them. That's it. And then I think twenty and twenty. I don't know how much more I am going to get because, as you see, I am trying to make planes. So I'm not sure. Once improved in about 150 days or so, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start it, start doing, start making planes, change it up a little bit. I gotta start exercising, actually. Exercise these boys. How much were they, how much does that give me? No, it gives me zero, so I won't. But, just record that, I should get a bunch more. I'm, I need three more port guards. Let me make that clear. Anything more pork guards. Move one armor over here. Start getting some I don't know, judgment stuff. Garrison should be going down. See, I only have 1.26k garrison and occupied territories. This state, I am losing resistance, which is good by a lot. And. I'm losing the resistance, which is good. I'm getting more troops in the field, as you can see. Now I have a bunch more stuff. I can fill. This one's almost full. This one's this one's full. So like like one and a half, because this one's got about 800 more. 800 plus 2500 is. Uh, I need about 3500, let's say, less than 3500. Get my stability up, and we've still got one more state to core. 
And oh, we can build, get some oil, which is nice, and then some more chromium. I don't know if we even need more chromium, but might as well get it. Doing pretty good. We got all the forts done. Putting stuff on the board. I didn't make a thing. I just made a fallback line. So I didn't want a lot. No. Okay, let's, oh, wait. No, that's not what I wanted. Remember. What is this? I hate these two. And now, Bert. what do you mean, Bert? Okay, I guess we're not gonna go there. I don't know why, it's got a fort. I literally put a fort there for a reason. All right, so, let's just say you want that one and this time. Okay, let's get moving. All right, whatever. That doesn't make any sense. All right, I'll, I'll just I'll move a manual anyway. So doing good. Should get these port guards up and running soon. And then I will just focus on building my army and building my air force. So still hoarding down Norway. The capital's up here, and they might probably will die soon. Let's check current wars, Italian British war. Yeah, they're pretty close. They're 78% doing the fighting as the best they can. You know, they're going to circle a little bit unless they don't have any troops there. But there, Germany and Italy invaded them. So, and also, I need to improve relations with the Americans. So currently, don't like it that much. But we are getting the, uh, you know, allied path. We did this one. We got this one. This one. I don't know what's going to do. Applying British oil embargoes on Iraq, sure. And then the Cheshire Concession, I forget what this does, but sure, that uh, sounds good. And then we're gonna get allies. So I'll see you soon. The next update. Next update, we are basically ending 1941. Um, Yugoslavia just, uh, you know, joined the allies because the German Reich declared on them. And now they are getting absolutely destroyed attacked on all sides, literally crumbled down. I don't even think they have enough troops. Attacked one, two, three, four, five countries. Italy, small front, German, small front, but these powerful countries. Hung Hungary, quite a big front, so. And the Romania, quite a big front. And then you got a lot of stuff, because, and Bulgaria, because they don't, they don't have an attack the Soviet Union. They probably got about six, seven more months. Then they attack the Soviet Union, which means they won't have as many good things. So now we're doing the Chester Concession. But I forget what that does again. I have my troops. I'm pretty sure I'm missing like 500 men in the field or so. Yeah, I'm missing just barely a few men. Maybe like 500 men or so. Anyways, doing good on research so far, 1940. 1940 tech. Um, I also got to core our last state right over here, and I can finally focus on other things. I'll probably get these first, this, then this, then the improve my stability, and then we should have enough manpower. I'm not gonna train any more divisions because I'm not gonna have enough men. I need to keep all the manpower secure because I need to make good planes. So that's why I am waiting. I just researched the planes, as you saw, official planes. Let me let, I'll let probably this cannons finish out. Maybe this year, I'll, you know, in a, few, in a week or so, I will create the good plane. Oh, I can't actually create any planes. I need to get, I'll wait, because I need to get the Chief of Air Force first. And then, let's core this. After I get the Chief Air Force to get me some stuff, then I can, make it. all right, so, get some mills, and some trucks, oh cool, we got three sieves, and 16 oil, can't mess with that, so nice, very nice, 
nice. Bunch of manpower. Oh, and Yugoslavia has capitulated. Italy got most of it. Hungary got a little bit. Um, Romania got none. Germany got a little bit. And then Bulgaria got a little bit. Ooh, looks like the UK has just been pushed out of, almost been pushed out of um, Albania. So, we'll see what happens there. These countries are trying to get Iraq, Iran, maybe Saudi Arabia, but that, that's a problem is democracies are good and also bad. So, yeah, okay, so Italy got basically everything. And then a little bit of Asia. Okay, so actually doing really good in North Africa and moderate in uh, Middle Africa. South Africa is fine. So they are doing okay, the Allies. They're not doing too bad. I've seen them do much worse. They still haven't defeated Norway. Actually, no, sorry, they did defeat Norway. Okay, so Norway's been defeated, so they should be attacking Soviets this year, mid this year, and then we'll start in, and then we'll start to see some action from me. I can get into the action. I have to. I'll go down to Cyprus. Actually, I probably don't even need to help out in Africa because they should have most of Africa done in the next six months or so. This and uh, no, I think I'll, I think I'm good because um, I can justify right now on Bulgaria and I'll be at war with that these guys so I'll wait a little bit I'm not ready yet I need to create some nice planes so I will see you guys soon when I probably make the plane okay right, so I got planes set up I don't have too many resources and I'm lacking quite a bit so I will be forced to do some stuff let me um Build some more civilian factories. Kind of these spots over here. Um, bump them up. Let's cut down on the mills. You actually, don't need many. And let's get a bunch of civilians now. So I'm going to trade away all my stuff. There, and then let's... So we got a good amount of stuff on planes. I'm going to get about four factories more. So in that case... I have no idea what I'm going to build. Um... Um, maybe like probably some more infantry equipment just because it's really good and I can lend these I'm gonna lend these I'm gonna kind of be like the the arm the seller like I wish I wish I was doing this in the um in the new uh Hearts of Iron 4 because then I will be able to do um I'll be able to sell my arms. Now I'm basically going to lend these some and for participation points, basically. Participation percentage in my um, thing. Allies doing great. They have literally one more tile. Let me get destroyed soon. And good. So I, once Greece is probably going to fall, but I'm not going to attack yet. It's too early. I'm probably going to wait until Bulgaria annexes this. Then I'll get my troops there. And then while they're all distracted, pushing to Moscow, I will get in there and destroy, liberate Greece, destroy Albania, destroy Bulgaria, get to hopefully liberate Yugoslavia and destroy Romania a little bit, South Romania. That's the plan when I get to it. Let me do some, actually, I don't need any civs. I think I'm, well, actually, nah, okay, I'm good. I do need oil, chromium. Let's do oil's pretty good. And I'm not going to mess with Chromium, and I'm just going to do improved working conditions to get my stability up. Got about 7k manpower, good. Nothing for garrisons, too. Oh, I am completely garrison-free, which is good. I'm doing this right now. Okay, so we got cannons, too. Next thing I need to do is buy a advisor to get some more air experience, because I have zero. That's the next step, is to probably buy this dude, air superiority dude. You get 0.3 daily. Anyways, um, 
I'm going to get this bomber. I will. I don't know if I'm going to join the allies yet. Wait, wait, just hold off a little longer. Maybe do this one. Maybe this one. So, yeah, I'm going to try to not join yet. I'm going to wait till mid 1941 to join. I can't do anything else. So, yeah, I'll see you guys with the next update. So, we are in about mid-1941, Japan just declared war on the Philippines, so the U.S. is the Allies. Right now, I am doing a bunch of naval stuff. I don't care for anything else, since we're doing good. We're... Let's see, I'm doing pretty good, so I'm not really need to do anything else. To see anything bad, it's just fleet coordination and war support. I have to do all that. I'm not gonna do all that. That's kind of dumb. So instead, I am going to get this one and then this one. Probably by then, I will be ready to join the allies. You know, hit these focuses. Nice political power. Oh, look, boom. First of August, a little bit late, actually. Seizing oil, Romania. I do want to get Iran. Iran. Probably before some... Probably before I joined the Allies, I probably won't declare war. Uh, that one's good. That one I probably do. I probably won't join the war until I finish securing Iran. I don't know what this one means. But then... We must not fall. Boom, we hit this one, and then I can get... I don't know... Aleppo, Baghdad, Mosul. Aleppo, Baghdad, Mosul. Okay, so... I kinda, I might do this one. I don't think I need this one. Do this so. I may do this one. I'm not too sure. May, I don't know. This one I probably won't. I'm not interested in attacking the Soviet Union. I'm getting Azer Azerbaijan. They're probably at these two. Definitely this. This as well. Yes, okay. So we're doing pretty good, pretty good. I will join the Allies relatively shortly in about about 130 days, 120 days, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's the plan, and I'll kind of bring you back when we're getting ready to join the Allies and attack the Axis. So I made some better planes, and relatively soon I need to finish this focus. Actually, I probably won't... Mm, Get a naval dockyard. I probably will do this focus. And then, um, go ahead, join the Allies, this proposal, get to Iran, then join the war, and take the fence over the Gulf. Gulf. And then, get to this section. So that's the plan. Of course, that might not get that all done in this video. So, yeah. Let's get that. I think I need it because I need some more convoys. 97 is not that much. So we are doing actually okay. They haven't fully lost kind of Ukraine yet. When they kind of lose Ukraine-ish. When they start losing mid-Ukraine, then it gets a little bit worse. Belarus area, current Belarus, not yet. We touched it heavily. We really finished Latvia, so not doing that bad. Um, what do I want to do? Supply is alright. Probably some more military factors. Yeah, okay, good. Doing good on that. So, I think when it, with this final lot with the finishing of this focus I'll bring you back when I finish this focus 
so we can um, stop this part one of Turkey. All right, so we start the next focus. Um, doing good, so I'm going to stop it here. Thank you very much um, for watching. Should like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.